In order to record on a single track in BandLab, you're going to click Add Track, choose the Voice Mic option, and then you have a Voice Mic Track. Down here is Source. If you have a microphone built in, it's going to give you that option. If you have a plugged in microphone, which I do not have, you can choose which microphone you're going to use. If you do have a microphone that you have plugged in, you need to make sure you choose your source first so that the program knows to use your built in or to use your external microphone. If you're using built in microphone, that's what's going to be showing here. When you click record, everything that you have on your screen so far is going to play at the same time. This could be a disadvantage because everything that you're, record that you're playing is getting recorded again onto this track. So make sure you have headphones on when you click record. I do not have headphones, so I am going to mute these two tracks. And then I'm going to click record. The metronome will count you off before it starts recording. Hey, 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 hey. Then you can play and listen to what you recorded. Notice it's a flat line at the top and the bottoms of the loop. This means I was getting a little bit too close to the microphone. As you can see in my levels here, I'm in the red. We don't want to be in the red. That is called clipping. So it's clipping or cutting off your high parts of your sound and your low parts of your sound. So I'm going to actually delete this. I just clicked on the loop and then I clicked delete on my keyboard. And I'm going to re-record it and I'm going to move myself back a little bit from the microphone. And you can see your microphone levels here. So you don't want to be completely in the red. You want it to be moving a little bit like that. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, pulling like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. And you can see all of the wavelengths nice and clear now. And then you can add as many mic tracks as you need to, but you need to have at least one for your ringtone. If you have a microphone connected to your computer, you will be able to record on this track. Most of you have a microphone built into your computers. So you're gonna be able to use the mi inboard microphone on your laptops. Just make sure your, your voice is as close to the mic as you can get. Put the laptop up to your mouth a little bit or have a quiet environment. <laughs> 